Mind your business, bear. Mind your business. So what you guys do know is Chaz is a very big advocate for protective styles. But what you don't know is your girl is way too frugal to be paying $150 to $200 for protective styles every two weeks or even every month because I just, I just don't have the coin for it. I also don't really have the patience for it either. So doing my own mini Marley twists, doing my own box braids and faux locks, I just, I really don't have the patience to be doing it over and over and over again for the rest of my life, okay? Or however long I wanna do protective styles. But what I do have the patience for is cornrows. Now, not everybody knows how to braid. And quite frankly, I don't know how to braid very well, but I can fake it until I make it, especially with these tips that I'm going to give you in order to slay cornrows. Because I know cornrows typically do not look the best, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. I'm gonna hook you up. Now this is gonna be a talk through video, so just to give you a heads up. Now as you can see, these are my cornrows. And honestly, I guess we can all tell now Chaz cannot braid very well. <laughs> But from far away, it kinda looks like I can braid, huh? And these didn't cost a dime at all. It only took me 10 minutes to produce these subpar braids. Now in the back, I just crossed the braids and I pinned them back, and that's about it. Now me personally, we all know Chaz loves to do edges, so that plays a very big factor in slaying my cornrows. But just in case you're not an edge person, the next thing I have is this lock jewelry. I've shown you guys this in my previous video on the top trendiest and natural hairstyles that have been going around, and I must admit, it adds quite nicely to my cornrows. This lock jewelry I got from my local beauty supply store for like $3. Then I will take the lock jewelry and I'll probably just place it like right here. I try and I really try not to overuse lock jewelry. Like that's how much I love it. Then I'll place some on the opposite side. Now for you, you can use as little lock jewelry or as much as you possibly want, but I'm just gonna do the two fronts right here because I like it like that. I think it's really, really cute. Now the next look, of course, deals with this super cute scarf that I got from Goodwill for like $3. It has this very nice vintage print to it. This scarf is huge, okay? But it has a super detailed and cute print on it and I'm just going to fold it into a triangle. Now if you have a bigger scarf, like I do, you will have to fold this like a second time, just the top part. If you have a smaller scarf, uh, you'll be good. Now it's folded for the second time, and I'm just gonna flip it back on my head. And I did that just because I want the print of the scarf to show more, because it was just so huge. And you're just gonna tie it on the back of your head. That's all you're gonna do. And honestly, I prefer the bigger scarves because it leaves you more of a tail in the back. And you're just going to tie it in a knot. That's all you're gonna do, nothing fancy. And look, you have a cute little 80s or 70s vibe going on. You look like Madame Zeroni or a genie or whatever. Now I know I have my edges done. I have them done because I like the way it looks with this style, but you do not have to have your edges done for this little style to look cute, okay? You don't. It can go either or, but y'all know how I feel about edges. Now, of course, the third look is going to be old reliable and old faithful, my wrap. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and tie this turban real, real quick because I already have a video on how I tie my turbans. I literally show you guys three really, really cute styles that you can go on your cornrows, so definitely check that video out. Now I do want to let you guys know that I got this infinity scarf, yes girl, infinity scarf from Target. It only ran me maybe 10 to $15, but y'all y'all already know I got my money's worth, okay? I've been wearing this thing like non-stop in my natural hair journey. But since having a TWA, all I've ever worn underneath it is cornrows, yes. Do not sleep on cornrows, y'all. Th this this is cute. This is cute, and all I have is cornrows underneath. Even if you have a TWA, you'll just need more cornrows, and I'm telling you, it does not look ugly. Do not do not sleep on cornrows. Okay, you can make them cute. So that is it for this tutorial. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and share it. Like tell all your friends about your girl. All right, and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. Peace out.